interesting that Lola actually wasn't around either tonight. Not what we usually expect. But you still think we're probably still pretty good on the, the Holy Priest side of things. Even if, you know, Judas John the Baptist uh, is uh, being John the Baptist again. I would like another Holy Priest. For sure. Okay. Is he being a little cranky again? Um, not to the extent he was last time, but, um, I think, I think when Mork said something about, uh, coming with world buffs and stuff, there might be an argument made that, uh... I told him about that. I mean, he has a way of saying things that people take the wrong way. Yeah, I don't take it personally, but it's super easy. Take it personally because it comes off pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. I told him. I, I, I mean, I've told him so many times about that. He just. Just say he just acts a bit squirrely or something. <laughs> you can make. I mean. You can get people to improve. It's not hard. It's classic wild man. It's not. It's not difficult. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Like I said, our guild on the private server, NOS, terrible. Starting off. Yeah. And then they became much better. Really, what? really good. Yeah. Like, how, how were they approached to help get them better, though? Like, what was the way that they were able to get better? Everyone constructively gave criticism. They built each other up. They didn't tear, tear each other down. Because, hmm. you know, like I said, the game's actually pretty, pretty easy. People have their jobs, their roles, what they're supposed to do. It's just a matter of doing your homework. <laughs> Do your homework. Read up on the fights. I mean, heck, because we actually, at least when some of us did our homework, we were able to at least understand some of these fights, even though we've actually never done them before. Like, my time of clearing Blackwing Lair with this guild, that was the first time I ever did that. For me personally, that was a first. Heck, my guilt wasn't even good enough to declare Molten Core. You know, God forbid. Can you imagine? My, uh, my old friend, too, who, uh, used to play, uh, well, back in Vanilla with, or I used to play with, uh, he looks back at all that, that entire time, and he kind of has to agree that, yeah, we were not very good, were we? Uh, yeah, probably not. That was, of course, back in the days when, when we didn't want to force specs on people, you know? So we had fire mages coming into Molten Core. Not very productive, let's just put it that way. Can't expect much from mages not spec for the, to do the job in Molten Core. And people not knowing the theory and the player base being just generally younger. Yeah. We also went by a DKP system, but we did have bidding in it, so we did it the wrong way. That much so, can also be stated. I would say the way it is right now. 
based off what I know, what I've, I guess you could say, discussions I've had with several people. Like, we're not strictly going by LPR. Yeah. Which is, to me, okay. It's, it's fine. Yeah, like, now that we've actually are, like, thinking about, you know, the way to items won, the importance of uh, Guys, performing and listening to instructions from your class leads. Guys, I'll be honest, that the first, like, two or four weeks ago, I didn't know that I here. start off with the challenge. Yeah, we didn't really know anybody here, and now we've sort of, like, pretty well bonded with quite a few people here. Like, we bonded with Bear, and we bonded with Voodoo. Let's say we bonded with Abysma as well. And two clouds, to a certain extent as well. We're getting to know people. We're getting to know how each person sort of functions, personality-wise. I don't think you can stick with food parade after a certain point, you know, and some of you guys in, and turn to molten core, and nobody needs anything in there, and everything they need drops, well, yeah, why not? There's just some really, really big ticket items that are pretty difficult at times. Yeah. I've got to say, I'm kind of, kind of proud of our casters for not, um, for not raising a fuss over the trinket, though. I was expecting some of that, some of that same. Uh, <laughs> going on some with uh, you know some of the drama involving the healers to translate over to the casters because I know that's such a big trinket it, it's huge every caster needs hit even the ones that do have the talents to be able to mitigate their hit problems somewhat even they still need it you know It's just so uh, crazy to me that even with the ZG ring set and that trinket, I'm still I'm still short of the the hit gap. I think I, it's made me realize. Though. It's just kind of made me realize how gear dependent warlocks really are. Never actually thought about it that way, but they are. Yeah, I think there's a certain point. Um, it comes to the hit for casters, that it starts it starts diminishing itself, and you'll want to get uh, spell power more. Yeah, which I'm sort of doing right yeah, now with the, um, I'm at that point now, which is why I'm kind of thinking swapping Soul Corruptor's Necklace with, um, with Back to the Choker of Enlightenment. Get back that 18 spell power. Well, you know, I think it comes to depends um, on how much you want to gamble. Yeah, to gamble that's fair. And deal more damage, or be more consistent, but not harsh really. I think rolling the dice gives better results, to be honest. Obviously, I'm not saying to unequip all your, your hit units, but I'm saying there's a good balance, I would say. Where you yeah. have. Um, well, that's sort of what Mork was saying um, with 
that is sort of how um, Mork put it, in a sense, when we last talked about all the hit gear, all the gear that I could potentially go for. Just was sort of his way of saying, go for the Staff of Shadow Flame. Because why not, right? It's such a big piece, but I also know it's not a very high drop chance. A lot of people needed improvements to their weapons. But you know, now our casters are kind of in a pretty good situation now with their um with their weapons. Most of them anyway. I mean the ones that aren't uh aren't usually the most dependable for showing up anyway. So they need to start showing up if they want to start getting that gear. Either that or we just need to start recruiting more people with uh, greater potential for to parse better than some of the other people we have. What was that? Been a long time, but, uh, okay. Glad you got your cloak, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad too. Now we need to get everybody else that needs the cloak to get theirs too. Lardog got the neck, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I have that. Budo actually passed it to me because he said he did it. Last week, I was like, dude. Do we still have a second to the sword? No. I got the shield tonight. It's pretty decent. Yeah. Shield. It's not a whole lot better than that. Uh, guys it was fun i'll uh talk to you guys probably tomorrow all right man you have yeah, a good one good probably still be on a little bit longer but uh if you need anything just dm me this one all right I am. <laughs> I've just landed a real, real, real nail biter moment that kills most of my runs, so I actually have a run here. Like, I actually seriously have a run. Like, I was actually in the lead entering this level and I just nailed everything. That's, that's awesome. mm -hmm. I just didn't want to default the attention away from my uh from what we were talking about right because i mean i'm with you guys like i'd be talking keep the conversation wow related you know i got my i got my peeps from the speedrunning community for for that sort of talk about speedrunning and stuff no no it's fine i i should i, I watch them speed and stuff so. I don't do it because like, I'm actually not great at video games, so <laughs> I 
know that I play them all the time. But I'm not very good. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, when you see how I play games casually, it can be... It, it becomes less intimidating because you learn to just get better naturally. Oh, you do. It's, um... I just, I don't know. I don't have a... Speedrunning is not my thing, personally, but not. Just in general. I've always been picked on for being somebody who, I, like, I love to play games and time with it, uh, yeah. but I have to have a lot of knowledge about the game because I just like something about my hand-eye skills. <laughs> just usually struggle somewhere. What's the, uh, do you speedrun anything besides Mickey? Or um, I actually speedrun quite a few games, actually. I'm not even gonna look at that split, but I know it's gotta be a really good split. I'll stop this <laughs> It's it's okay. This is sort of the point where I'm kind of relieved, and I'm probably gonna finish my run. Oh, uh, well that was very unfortunate that I just took there. Okay, I should be able to finish this run though. Which is good. Unfortunately, I had to take that, um, that, uh, death abuse on Beanstalk, but I might still be able to get past my goal here. gonna complete itself. Well, I'll be honored you were in a call during this whole run. Because that actually, this actually might be good enough for me to call her quits with this run now. By the way, I see you there, Jordan. Don't worry, I, I haven't been ignoring you. Nice, that's it. Wow. Alright, I think I'm confidently done with this game. <laughs> Casually talking about WoW stuff. Nerdy WoW stuff. 
while I was doing that whole thing. See, it's strange, because I, like, normally do counting strats on one of those fights, and I just kind of knew when I had to bounce off Mad Doctor. Thanks to the GG's Jordan, Yami, Nekozo, Skunky48. What's up, man? Thanks, everyone. Alright, I think that might be it. That's probably me done with this game. I can't push my Summer Best much harder than that. Like, the majority of my time loss was just that one death I had to take in Beanstalk. And it was all because of Taskbook. I didn't get the health I needed to there. Oh, shit. Well, you know what this means. You know what this means. I'm going to have to drop out of the call. See if my speedrunning friends are still on. Spread the good news because they may or may not have been watching. Thank you for the sub, by the way, Jordan Les. For the 10 months. Here's a sub and congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I rented this game a few times. As a kid, huh? I didn't know that, Skunky. Now, of course, was it this version of the game, or was it the Super Nintendo version of the game? That's what I need to know, since a lot of people are more familiar with that version of the game. Also, thank you for the follow as well, ne Necklezo and Calamity J. Oh, man. What a run. I'm done. Done with this game. I can't believe it! I can't believe I'm done with this game. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to put my focus on something else now. And I think I know what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be skate runs, skate streets of rage two runs. Well, either that or Revenge of Shinobi, but one of those two. One of those two, it would have to be. Oh, the Genesis version. Nice. Well, I'm glad I was... I'm hopeful that you got to witness this run, because this was a run. This was a very good run. My goal was under 1850, and we got it tonight. Got it tonight. You know, after literally getting Cloak of Consumption and being like literally 3% away from being hit capped on my warlock. So, no, good, it was a good day. Very good day. Good stuff, good stuff. So if you've rented this game before, you probably remembered the, the key line, if you enjoy this, Enjoy this game, you buy it twice. Classic, classic line there. Alright, well, that probably might have to be it for me tonight. Um, well, I won't cut the stream just yet. I'm going to jump out of this call here. Uh, thanks for hanging around, though, Lardock. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Talk to you people. We'll probably see you tomorrow whenever. Yep. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.